Aries. I'm going to try and get you guys. It's your turn. The Righteous Rams or Aries. I'm going to see if I can get you guys in right now. I've got like 12 minutes left on my phone memory here. So. Holy Spirit, would you give us the soul cycle of uh, Aries? The right, or Righteous Rams. One, two. As a hermit keeps popping up in here. We'll be dealing with the burger. Holy yeah. Spirit, would you give me the soul cycle of uh, of um, heartbreak? I could the soul cycle of Aries spirit. What do they need to be aware of? What would you like to tell them? For Aries, Holy Spirit. Okay, what do we have in the heart of the matter for them? For Aries. Okay, nostalgia. That just came out in the, in the last reading too. And the devil, okay. The nostalgia is what you got going on in your, um, it, this is the heart of the situation. Challenge is the devil. So I'm thinking obsessions, addictions possibly. If you're thinking about the past, you might, I don't know. Depends how, what, what, if you're thinking good about the past or you're thinking bad. But me thinking that the, the big reds right beside you there as the challenge makes me think that you're thinking the bad things in the past. Which is uh, not a good thing, and you know what? If they, if she asked, they may have happened, but you can't dwell on them. You need to like figure, just uh, feel them. It's good to feel them first bit, but then move along because you can't, you can't just, like let that stay there and take root in your brain. Like don't forget about it, but remember it. But don't like let it grow in there where it overtakes your everything and consumes your life, right? So that's the challenge. What is um? In uh, subconscious, for you, what are you thinking about subconsciously? Uh, uh, let's see. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. The Five of Pentacles. So right now you're thinking about uh, poverty, or like uh, maybe money's not looking too good for you, or things are on the down and down. Uh, Yeah, basically, that's what that card means. It's just like poverty, right? But, but it doesn't, hey, hey, money isn't everything. Like I say, you can't take it with you. And There's a lot of miserable rich bastards out there, you know what I mean? That are totally miserable because whatever, they, they love their money more than they love, you know, life. And they took over. Just like these uh, nostalgia, like you can live in the past. You don't want to live in the past because, it's, like they say, most people probably aren't there anymore. And you just, it's not a good thing. You need to make it new. You need to make a future, not a past. And it's kind of hard to do when you're not feeling, when you're financially unstable. So, uh, that makes sense. That's, that's a pretty rough situation there, Aries. Um, let's go, let's see how, how the fuck did we get here. Like, where's, what's in the past for Aries? What did, what did they, uh, what led them to this situation? Oh, these two spirits. Okay. You had a passionate new beginning and the Queen of Pentacles. So an earth sign, or you were a passionate new beginning and you were um, given, um, or you had, um, okay, this could, be, this could be you. You're not an earth sign though, but maybe you, you're just, uh, you had a passionate new beginning and you, like the Queen of Pentacles is basically somebody who's like uh, fruitful and like uh, nurturing, she's like, She's like, uh, like a minor arcana version of her is like uh, sitting in her backyard with drinking wine with, uh, like she's that type of person, right? And thinking about her family. So that makes sense that you'd think about like uh, nostalgia and stuff. But just make sure that you're thinking about the good things and like, because the big reds that are right beside you, either you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could be thinking about a Capricorn actually too. Like, uh, maybe, maybe somebody passed on or something like that, and um, she's a, 
she was a Capricorn or he was a Capricorn. And maybe you're just thinking back on, on their good memories. And, uh, you know, that's a good thing, but don't, don't stay there. Like, remember, you got to live, you got to live your life and, and also plan for the future and think about the future, right? So, and don't, then the, the, that one, if it isn't about a Capricorn, then it could be like, uh, the devil stands for like, uh, obsessions and addictions and like, uh, also like uh, rebellion too. Like there's some good things about them too, but like uh, usually it's uh, like our like our desires and like stuff like that, right? Like temptations and shit like that, right? Like things that are totally fine, but if you do too much of them, they can literally like destroy you. <laughs> so like uh, I mean, moderation. If you are feeling it, like the worst time to drink or do stuff like that is like when you're in your feels, right? So just remember that. And what do we got in the future, or in the present situation for our, um, what the hell are we doing now? <laughs> um, oh yeah, Aries, our righteous rams. I'm sorry guys, I had a brain fart there. Just got lost in it. Uh, what do we got in the present for our Aries, the righteous rams? A hangman. We're getting a different perspective of things. Maybe looking at things from a different point of view, which is always good. You know, you you know, if you're sitting in front of somebody, like if you're sitting in front of me right now, you wouldn't, you might not. Uh, you'd be able to see what's behind me, but I can't see what's behind me, right? So you got a different perspective than I did. So that's what I mean. Maybe just switch spots with somebody, or like see how somebody else is seeing things, and if you. And, but sometimes, you know what, even when you do get into when you see it from you still, maybe this person's just a greedy bastard or whatever, you know, no, right? And you're just you're trying to, like, literally, like, like, um, I don't know, like, hustle you or something like that. So, just be, then just because you get a different perspective of it doesn't mean that it's the right thing, right? No, one, two, three. What do you got in the future for Aries? But it is always better to get both sides before you make a decision. Two of swords, that's what's kind of like saying right here, two of swords. You're going to have to make a choice. Uh, you're at a stalemate right now. You're at a stalemate and you're going to have to make a choice uh, to get out of this. You're also just going to stay here like uh, stagnant and unmoving and nobody's going to move ahead. And sometimes you have to eat some dust, right? Like if you, and if you could say, well, we could sit here all day like in a chess game. Or, or a tic-tac-toe game where it's like, wow, shit, that sucks if nobody wins, right? And it's like, well, whatever, man. Sometimes it's better, and sometimes it's better, like, if it's something stupid, then it's just your ego. Sometimes it's better to just let somebody think they won, right? So they can be all puff their chest up for a bit, and then whatever, go and do your thing just to get the ball moving again, right? Okay. Uh, what do we got influencing this? In... For uh, righteous Aries. Oh, this one came out blocked. The magician. Ooh, the magician sideways. So that tells me somebody could be uh, doing something sideways to you or blocking you some, in some area. Maybe somebody's jealous. You should uh, have a spiritual bath of thinking or maybe clear your energy and call back all your energy from anybody. Because if you've given energy to people, they can use that. You know what I mean? So energy could be anything, like giving money to somebody. It could be like talking with somebody or like letting them, telling them something about you. It could be, there's a, a lot of ways you should look like, look up to that. Or, well, and somebody could be, feel like, somebody I'd say is blocking something in your life. There's something being blocked right now and I think it might be due to somebody maybe hating on you. Maybe somebody feels they, uh, they, um, You've wronged them in some way or some sh That's still no reason to ever do anything like that, but a lot of people don't don't really care about that fact. And you'll see them walking around. They're usually the ones with no eyebrows and fucking so much fucking makeup on. They look like a clown because they look aged 10 years older than they normally look, would look. But <laughs> just like, yeah, look for people like that around you, and that's probably the one doing it. Uh, what do we got in... Hopes and fears. Um, hopes and fears. Okay, hopes 
Boxing figures, you got the King of Cups, so possibly a water sign or uh, male water sign. Um, he was very, he was a good leader. Whoever this person is, this could be you too. But it's in hopes and fears. So you're there's somebody who um, literally uh, has mastered his feelings. If the King of Cups master, upright has mastered his feelings, like he's a great leader because he knows everybody's feelings. He knows it, like them well. Like he doesn't let them govern them, right? Like he's in charge of that shit. Like he's not gonna break down and start crying and shit. Like at, the, at an important time where he doesn't, where he's not supposed to, right? Like he's just he. That's why he makes a good leader. He knows he can still think under pressure when it comes emotionally, right? And uh, yeah. So I don't know if that's your hopes, if that's what you're hoping for, if that's you're hoping you could be like that, or maybe it's a good way to be. Uh, hopes and fears. What is in the way you're looking at it too? The lens you're looking through. Is that you're guarded or somebody else is guarded? Which is, uh, yeah, Nine of Wands is like uh, basically like, uh, I don't know, like you smoke too much weed and then you're like, they're coming, they're coming, and then you're, you're hiding in your in your closet with a shotgun or some shit like that. Hopefully that's not really the case, but like that's just a, an example of it, right? Like you're, you're, you're basically guarded, you're expecting something to happen anytime now, or. Uh, like on looking out the blinds every 20 seconds or something like that. Like somebody waiting for crack or something like that. <laughs> okay, what do you got in the, um, uh, what do we got here? In the environment. In the environment. Uh, what do you got in the environment? Oh, okay. Ooh, eight of cups reversed. So you're trying not to walk away from stuff. You really don't want to walk away from something. Maybe something that you know you should. But this is because...